Hi again YouTubers, um, it's the Irish Scrapper back and I thought it might be nice to do a Valentine's card considering the time of the year we're at. So uh, let me run through this very quickly with you. What you need to make this project is a card and this card actually measures 4 by 6 so it's a standard size card. Then I've cut a matte layer to go on top of it. And this matte layer measures three and three quarter inches by five and three quarter inches. And then I cut another piece of the same card, which is just slightly less. So it's just slightly under the three and three quarters by five and three quarters. What I did with this was I, I ran it through a cuttlebug folder and uh, I used the sandpaper technique, which will be shown in the link uh, above. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually rough up the edges of this piece and I'm using my Tim Holtz um, distressing tool. However, you don't need to use this. You can use the edge of a scissors and it works just as well. So you just run it along the edge of the paper like that and you can see it gives a worn distress look. And really it's just for texture and to make it a bit aged looking. Now, and I'm not even going to ink that because I'm happy enough with the way it looks. So this is uh, Tim Holt's paper I'm using, by the way. I'll put the link to the name of it um, below. Any bits that overhang, just fold them back on themselves. Line it up and adhere it down. So this is the piece I've already used the sandpaper technique on. And again, I'm just going to put adhesive on that. Please excuse the state of my hands. I've been inking here in the craft, uh, craft room this afternoon. And again, I'm just layering that on top of the other piece of paper. Like that. Now, um, I've cut out some shapes, some hearts, and it was a Sizzix die, a Tim Holtz Sizzix die. I'll put the name of the die in the link below. So I've cut out the crown. I cut it twice. I cut it in this music note paper and then I cut it in a red glittery paper. And if you if you have a look, I've offset it a little bit so that there's kind of a shadow. And I'm going to adhere that down with some dimensionals. And just leave it aside until you decide where you're going to put your heart. Now, the Tim Holtz uh, heart and wing set cuts out a positive and a negative. I put dimensionals on the back of the open um, heart. So I'm going to take off the backing. And then, again, just slightly offset it so that you have the shadow. And then again, I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of this. And put it about here, I think. And then I'm going to take my, my little crown and place it above one side of the heart, like so. Now, I've done the same with the wings. I've, I've stuck it on slightly off so that there's the white shadow. Um, I'll do this one for you now. So I'm using glossy accents for this. It's just an adhesive. Sorry about that. So a small amount on the wing. And take your backing wing and just slightly offset it. Like that. And then I'm not going to put uh, dimensionals on the wings. I'm just going to use the glossy accents. This 
one is nearly finished. And I'm going to put them up either side of the heart. Like that. Now I've cut a piece of the music paper that I've used to back the heart um, to go on the bottom here. And again I'm going to just run the Tim Holtz Distress Tool across it. And actually I'll do it with the scissors to show you that the scissors does actually give you the very same effect. But us crafters love the gadget, so that's why I have the Tim Holtz Distress Tool. Now just to give this a little bit of um, dimension, I suppose, I'm going to take a little bit of Distress Ink. I'm using Barn, barn Door and just a very light coating around the music paper so that it stands out. And I'm just going to use some of the glossy accents to adhere that. Down here like that. Then the sentiment. For the sentiment, I cut out a scalloped um, heart shape uh, using my scalloped punch, which I will show you. Um, later. And then I've used a uh, Provo Craft uh, Alphabet die set to cut out the lettering. So I'm just going to put the, the word love you onto the heart. I'll show it to you. Love L. O. V. And I'm simply just going to put you on the bottom, like that. Now I'm going to stick these off camera because they're a little bit fiddly to get on. And I'll come back in a minute and show you the finished so result. So I've adhered the um, love you to the heart. What I like to do um, to adhere these small letters is put a little piece of glue out on my glass craft mat here. And I take a tweezers and dip the letters into it and then place them because they are quite fiddly. Now I'm going to use what's left of that glue to adhere the heart, like that. So that's a fairly simple, straightforward Valentine's card. Um, it would be for beginners. And then I'll show you one that I made um, a little while ago that's a little bit more advanced. So this is a, a more vintage looking card. And I coloured the lace in vintage colours by using Glimmer Mist to put colour to it. And you can see I've distressed the paper. I've used vintage lace down here. Put a bit of glossy, glossy accents on the heart to make them worn and cracked looking. Um, I used Rub and Buff on a chipboard a uh, piece that I cut out and rub and buff on the wings and a little bit on the heart. Flat back pearls, a couple of pins and some seam binding. So I hope you like these Valentine cards. Please press the thumbs up um, if you've enjoyed it and I'll be back to you soon with some more tutorials.